CPU cooler may not show up until the 5th of March 2023. Grab these three hard drives from my Mac Pro 4.1, all three are the same model. Hoping to raid them together instead of using the smaller Samsung mechanical hard drive. We'll look into my options as far as raiding an odd number of hard drives together, data loss at this point in time for me won't set me back so I will be open to pretty much anything that will work with these drives, even if I have to JBOD in Windows. Seagate 1TB Desktop Hard Drive Model, ST1000DM003 Part Number, 1ER162-020 Speed 7200 RPM Cache 64 MB Interface SATA 3 6.0 Gigabits per Second Seagate 1TB Desktop Hard Drive Model, ST1000DM003 Part number, 1ER162-501 Speed 7200 RPM Cache 64 MB Interface SATA 3 6.0 Gigabits per Second Seagate 1TB Desktop Hard Drive Model, ST1000DM003 Part number, 1CH162-306 Speed 7200 RPM Cache 64 MB Interface SATA 3 6.0 Gigabits per Second This will be my first time making a raid, so I expect quite a few issues as I figure out how to raid these hard drives. Feeling a little better, the Harley Benton S620TR may be the next project while I wait on the CPU cooler for the Xeon project. The weather still isn't great for painting, so the Les Paul copy project will be on hold for a little bit longer. This was the Samsung hard drive I was originally going to use, until I remembered that I had some hard drives and not doing anything in my Apple Mac Pro. I don't remember what year it is, but it is a dual Xeon with DDR2 ECC RAM. I took the SSD and the Samsung drive out of an HP Dual Xeon system also with DDR2 ECC RAM. Won't be able to use the optical drive until I find a Molex to SATA power adapter, I'm sure I have one though, just need to find it. Plenty of room so far for the SSD and hard drives though. Cabling will get a bit tedious in this case though, I may have to rethink this case and use another case. I have a giant aluminum case that I got when Windows XP was still a current operating system. I am using hex cap screws that I ordered a decade ago to make it inconvenient for people to get into the work computers I built, or the refurbished systems that I sold. I had to order a hex wrench specifically for these. When I got them I didn't know they required a odd sized Allen wrench. Since I worked at a small engine shop doing computers, I just ordered a full set of Allen wrenches from Mac Tools.
everything seems to be going well, then I found another reason that I may need to rethink the PC case I chose for this project. I had test fit this GPU prior to installing the motherboard, but I didn't test fit it in the right slots at the back of the case. There may not be a whole lot of room left for airflow if I decide to stick with this graphics card. I do have an AMD RX 6400, but I'm pretty sure it is a full-on PCIe 4 card, and may be hampered by the PCIe 3 slot.